Hello, I have a great news to share with you. I have started an open source project called React Play. This particular project for all the React developers to build React app and share with the community. So what are the advantages? There are basically three. The first thing is you learn React and then start creating a project in the React Play platform. The platform helps you with some easy steps to start creating a play within the infrastructure. And once you start creating the play, there will be someone who will be reviewing your code and give you the guidance on how to reach to the best possible code manner. Once the pull request is accepted, your play, your project become the part of the React Play production quality. And then everyone will be able to look into your play and start learning from it. So you basically start creating, start learning and start sharing. So this is for the community, for the entire React developer community. We will be building a bunch of plays together. Are you all up for it? Why waiting? Go and check out React Play. To create a play, go to reactplay.io and click on the create button. It will open up a page with few instructions for you to follow. The only thing command that you have to run is called yarn create play or npm run create play. We assume that you have already installed the dependencies. So all good to get started with yarn create play. The command yarn create play is going to ask you a few questions. Once you finish giving the answer of these questions, your play will be created. So for example, what is the name of the play? Let's say survey form. survey form you know then the description say some description of course you will give a meaningful description when you create a real play then what is the level of this play is this for a beginner or intermediate or advanced let's say we call for uh, intermediate then what you learn by doing this play say form events you know maybe hooks and then who is the owner say a tapas, myself, my GitHub ID. If you have a cover image, give the link of the cover image. If you don't have pass, if you have a block for this play already written, give it. Otherwise, pass. If you have a video for this play already, give it. Otherwise, pass. Each of this information you can come later point of time and provide. So that's all. It is going to create the play for you. It is going to create a scaffolding for your react component and do all the imports and everything done for you automatically so the next thing that you need to do come to your visual studio code or your favorite code editor and find this piece of code walking there the create play command has created this component for us under the survey form folder and once i open this component i see already a basic skeleton component is created for me with all the infrastructure pieces in it and i can actually start coding for my play right over here i can create a new component inside this folder import that component into it whatever i want to do i can do to create a survey form so let's run this project and see how the survey form appear into the react play playlist Try the yarn start command to start the development server and it will be running on localhost 3000 and you'll be able to access React Play locally. So great, React Play is running locally on localhost 3000. Now I can go ahead and browse this play and I see the survey form I have created just now using the single command is appearing along with all other existing plays. I have not written a single line of code by myself but survey form is ready. I can click on this and I can see all the structures are, are placed as it is. Now the next very next thing that I will be doing, I'll be going ahead and start coding things for the survey form. All the code for the survey form should happen inside the survey hyphen form folder because this is your play. You can do any code and any modification that you make over here. It will be immediately reflecting into your local development environment. So that's what it is pretty, pretty easy to start creating a play. So what happened once you finish creating a play? Once you finish creating a play, please raise a pull request so that someone can review your play, review your code, give you the feedback. And once all, everything is done, all is good. You know, your play will be accepted, pull request will emerge, and the play will be live on the production. So that's all friends. We want you to contribute. We want you to contribute, create, learn, and share using the React Play platform. See you there.